Hey guys, well, I'm uh, back. I'm gonna be doing another Kerbal episode. This one actually is in uh, regards to the bugged out mainsail, which is, uh, of course, when you do put your mainsail at full power, it uh, does overheat. And now there's a lot of ways you can go around this, and uh, this is one of the ways I'm gonna be showing you by attaching a fuel tank below, and of course, by placing support struts so the tank doesn't shake as much and destabilize and rip off. You don't have to put the support struts, but uh, that's what I do, just to keep it nice and stable. So far, I do prefer to use uh, the smallest tank. And uh, this sort of fixes that issue. I am nearly done here, so uh, let's uh, get started. Now, I'm going to shove it on full power. And uh, you're going to see, of course, uh, the support struts are holding really nicely. Uh, it's not wiggling at all, and uh, you're going to see that it's starting to overheat now. Uh, the left engine is starting to overheat, and uh, as you do see, it is highlighted, and uh, it's going to burn out now any second. There you go, and the other ones so far are fine. So uh, we're going to let it burn out just to show you that everything is fine if you do add a fuel tank. And this pretty much keeps your mainsail going at full power with uh, no problems whatsoever. Now... Uh, in terms of uh, the second highest overheating uh, engine is uh, the one with the largest tank. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to let it burn out just so you guys see. Uh, the temperature is still the same. It seems the larger tanks seem to overheat a little bit more. But uh, they are still in the green, you can say. So in terms of uh, temperature-wise, but uh, that's about it. You do see the support struts are really working perfectly. And two already died and uh, the last three remaining. Well, this is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.